Okay, so this is part B of the update number four for Retribution Paladins based on the latest build for Legion Alpha. Now, if you haven't seen 4A, that was very much about all the changes that I'm going to test out in these dungeons now. So if you haven't seen that and you want to see it, annotation down there to take you to that link. Uh, this is some dungeon gameplay as well as a few other bits and pieces that uh, I noticed since the first video. It is a long one. Sit back, get some popcorn, relax, or watch it in parts, or wait till you've got more time to watch it. Now, talents I've taken for this uh, execution centers, even though for trash I'd probably be more minded to take consecration. But uh, just in case this individual tough mobs, my Divine Hammers is just going to pull everything. Divine Hammers, of course. Zeal, of course. Uh, mass Judgment, certainly. Divine Steed. I've gone for Word of Glory. Um, again, in reality, you would, of course, be taking Seal of Light, generally speaking, because it would do more damage. But if I get an opportunity just to try it out, uh, if like we're all taking lots of damage. It might be interesting just to do that. Remember the purpose of this is not to be really awesome, let's remember to log. But to test things out. So, and I am also forgetting to do might. I'm just gonna do this on the DPS. I usually put one on the tank because tanks will generate a lot of DPS, but I don't know which of the highest damage dealing. Oh, what's this? I don't. I haven't done this before. Is this a new boss in Dark Heart Thicket, or is this a completely different? Either way, let's use Avenging Wrath. Oh, there's a knockback, I see. Well, let's keep that judgment buff up at least. Now, of course, execution sensor's very short cooldown, so it's going to keep coming up. I do want to keep using it as much as I can. Right, quickly build up again because it's come off cooldown. I don't have the holy power ready for it. I suspect this is a, a mistake, but I should probably just hold off onto it. Oh, let's see. No, that's not a dispellable poison. Christ, got to keep that judgment debuff up. I'm just going to use that word of glory. No, we didn't. We weren't really badly damaged. Keep up the judgment debuff. Shield of Vengeance. I mentioned this in the last gameplay video as well. When you're using Divine Hammer, of course, uh, you sometimes forget that it's only generating one. Oh, I hate it when you get hitboxes on flying things like this. Can't hit it. Uh, only generate one Holy Power, and sometimes you think two because you're used to using the other form of Blade of Justice. I really do wish they would. I don't know what I wish. Actually, maybe it's just me. I suppose you just get used to it. Avenging Wrath again. Ah, well, execution sentence. I should have gone straight away with that. I might have been able to get an extra one out. Now, really important that when that execution sentence comes back up, that I fire it off. But I suspect... I won't get the benefit of uh, 
I don't think it'll land before my Avenging Wrath wears off. No. Failed. Right, that, that might well be the opener we use as well, where I go straight in with Wake of Ashes from the Ashbringer. And then uh, Judgment Debuff and, and throw everything else in. Although I suppose you could actually use Execution Centers before the Judgment Debuff. Again, they haven't fixed Divine Steed. It's still not working in certain environments. And it does quite clearly say usable indoors or in combat. It should work everywhere. Um, I wish they would fix that. I really do. Ugh. Now, I do want to change to single target. I'm going to get my talent straight open. Because I want to test some single target. And this tank looks like he's going to run straight in. So let's really quickly... No! No! Uh, Seal of Light. Oh, crap. I'm going to go Blessings of Justice. Virtue's Blade. Shit! Mucked up my starter already. This uh, is obviously a big problem when you're wanting to change your talents between, like, AoE and... Uh, And single target. Oh, what happened? What have I done? Can't remember. I've been silenced again. I'm actually supposed to stand near. So unless standing near an ally, so I'm supposed to stand near an ally. Unless I've got something else on that shouldn't. I haven't got anything on. I, I don't get it. Well, doesn't matter that I mucked up the start then, does it? Don't you silence me, Lila. Not a great fight to actually check even on the logs afterwards because I spent so much time not being able to attack. The same may well apply to some other people as well. Not that I can really use these logs to check between different classes because I don't know how well the people playing these other classes in this raid are playing them. Wrath again. Will you stop that? Seriously. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Shield of Vengeance. I'm also going to put Seal of Light. Uh, sorry, Hand of Light on as well. Actually, that is a point. I keep forgetting I've actually got a Seal of Light and I'm not actually using it. What a muppet. I should do more dungeons, I'll at least learn the boss fights. I, I'm wishing I hadn't taken Seal of Light now. Because it is the extra thing to... The Seal of Light, it said 45 seconds. It's lasting longer. Hang on, I want to check something. I'm by using it again. I'm increasing the duration. Oh dear. Now that's interesting. I want to check that out a bit later.
So maybe it means if you use it a bit early, you're not necessarily wasting it because you are increasing the duration, perhaps. So maybe if you come into a period where you want to use Avenging Wrath and you don't want to refresh Seal of Light during it, you do it just before and it increases that duration. That sounds, if that's the case, that sounds interesting. That's really useful. I need to test that out in the training dummy. Well, that's the end of that dungeon anyway, so... Uh, do I want that? Can't use it yet. Right, so we, are, we need to have another look at this again, so... Just going to randomly use that. So, we use Seal of Light, which is doing... Uh, Lasting for 45 seconds. I'm just going to do it again. 35 seconds. That bunged it up by about 20 odd seconds, didn't it? Let's wait for it to get down to 45. Up to 50. It's putting up to 58 regardless. Now let's see how far down we can go. Let's get it down. I'll tell you what, let's wait for it to get down to 10 seconds. So we'll pretend we're about to use Avenging Wrath. Avenging Wrath, by the way, I did forget to do this in the other video. Um, the damage increase has been reduced a bit. It was 50% extra damage. It's now 35%. That's just a tuning thing, though. It's not a change in the way the ability works. So don't worry about that. Right. So when it gets down to 10 seconds, we'll just see. So as I say, we'll just pretend we're about to use Avenging Wrath. We know it'll run out during Avenging Wrath, so we'll bung it up, up to 54. So it will add up to 45 seconds onto it. That is really good. Uh, if you're going to use Seal of Light at all, that is, of course. <laughs> if you don't like Seal of Light, it's not. It just really doesn't matter. But if you're going to use Seal of Light, that is actually really effective. I'm, it's not reflective of the tooltip. I did not realise that, uh, that was the case. Aha! Uh -huh. <clears throat> Ah, what? I've joined in the middle of a dungeon again. What's going on? People leaving. Right, I've gone full on AoE, uh, by the way, here. So we're going to see what this is like. As well. Remembering from what we've just said as well, when Seal of Light gets down to like 15 seconds, um... If we fancy updating it, we can do. We've got nothing else in particular, so I might do that now. Right, let's start logging before we forget. I've got mass judgment, so as long as we're using judgment, we'll be off cooldown. We should be good there. That's actually really useful, the Seal of Light. Um, not quite sure why it's not reflected in the tooltip though, but it is good to know that you can just refresh it and get it up to just under a minute. Um, it won't let you buff it by more than 45 seconds, but up to 45 seconds, up to about just under a minute, as I say. It's really good. I don't think the... the oh. Now this is obviously the problem with Consecrate is... Oh shit, we should have moved out of there. Uh, sorry, the problem with Consecrate is that you are going to get... Uh, you're going to put it down and then the tank's going to decide actually we want the mob somewhere away from the yellow stuff. Which is why I say that on two targets I'd probably be tempted just to go for execution sentence anyway. Oh, I best use Templar's Verdict, that sniper thing's out of range again. But the Consecrate's fine on two targets as long as they don't move. Although I've got much choice. Well. That was inevitable. 
Now, judging by the uh, forums on MMO Champion, you would think that we've got next to no damage now with this build. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's been based on, but we'll we'll have a little look, as I say, when we get onto a, a boss fight, especially if I can be equipped with the talents I actually want. I'm going to start... Shall I start to switch to single target now? I don't know. Right, well, full AoE here. <laughs> so, if there's... The, the one problem of this, of course, is if there's, like, non-hostile mobs, uh, they suddenly become hostile because they're getting pulled. Ooh, hello. What's that? Now, I'm not going to use Divine Hammer because I don't want it on cooldown because I want to... Uh, I want to switch. Where are they off to? The tracks are over here. Right, let's uh, let's quickly. I'm going to keep zeal on though. I'm going to switch to that. I'm going to switch to that. I'm going to hope they're noticing. I'm not not noticing. I'm not doing anything at all. While I just change all this. That execution sentence. Will it land? Maybe. Yeah. Right. What else should I change? I'm going to keep the word of glory on though. I'm going to change to blessings of justice though. I can't mean combat. Arse biscuits, arse biscuits, arse biscuits. So, my judgement now won't stay up all the time. Um, and of course this is the other downside to what I've got. Zeal of course I'm using, but ultimately I have to make a choice now between single target and AoE. It's not like in Warlords of Draenor at the moment in live where there's a couple of talents. I mean there's really, it's either tech execution sensors or lights hammer. But you can switch between AoE and uh, single target mode by like switching your seal and by using Hammer the Righteous instead of Crusader Strike. Um, I mean, sure, you'd want to change your Glyph as well to like Mass Exorcism, but there's not many things we'd need to commit ourselves to. Whereas here, there are. Right, in that situation, because I'm fully single target. Reload. What's up with you? Just refresh that. Make sure it's still on the other two. What's he on about? I don't need that mail as it happens. It is tradable as far as I can tell. Now I do have to be a little bit careful here because I've got to make sure that judgment's up. There, there is a window when judgment is not going to be up. Uh, I might have cocked that up there. I use judgment just after execution sentence. That's going to cock it up. going to wait a couple of seconds before I use judgment, even though that's affecting the other things. Oh, he's off, he's off. Ah, I've used me wake of ashes. Ah, oh, I should have waited another second or two. Right, need to use execution sentence absolutely on cooldown. Oh my. Ah. Which I don't think I did there. 
uh, so that I could get another use out of it. Damn. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the Judgment debuff up for this one either. I am cocking this up. Oh. Alright, so we need to move apart on that. Oh, is he on me? Is that me? No, it's not me. Alright, well this is handy at least. The Judgment debuff will definitely be up. I've got to lay on hands if needs be. Actually, I should have just bubbled, shouldn't I? It's because i got three stacks on my... Oh, is it on me? It is, it's on me now. Run away, run away, run away. Uh, back again. But I haven't got anything to protect myself now because I was stupid. I should have used... Um... Keep me alive. Where's my bubble? At least put that up. Was but bubble, bubble. Oh no, that's not fair. I pressed it. It's even on cooldown. Oh, you vicious little bastard! That's another thing to get used to, as well as divine hammers only doing one when you might be used to the other one doing two. Switching between mass judgment and not. So, as to how much you need to concern yourself with uh, that Judgment debuff, line it up with Execution Sentence. See there, because I didn't do Judgment for a couple of seconds after. Oh crap, it's this thing. I'm not going to use Wake of Ashes because uh, again, want it to be up when we get onto the boss, which is any time now. Ah, so. Oh, God. Oh, Sanctify. That's the. Tell you what, let's uh, see if Shield of Vengeance protects me from the rest of it. No, it doesn't. Still can't use my movement speed increase. What bloody use is any of this? What am I doing? Hold on. Exploded with holy light. Don't stand in me. Don't stand in me. God. What, me again? Nice to have fun mechanics where I can't be in melee, but uh, I don't have the ranged capabilities I used to have. Oh dear. And is that it? She's going to stay there, so I'll just like chuck judgments at you, shall I? Who designs those things? Oh, me again, thanks. I assume I've got to run away from everyone, I cannot. I don't think that does healing. <laughs> Somehow.
This uh, 150% movement speed increase is quite disconcerting. I know I've complained that we don't have any movement speed increases. This is a bit much. Okay. Now there was a little point in question, of course, changing targets. Uh, meant that judgment I used on that wasn't then up on this. And the zeal stacks have gone down. They they go down quite quickly if you're not going straight from target to target. So I'll have to build those up again. Now, of course, two target cleave. I haven't got the talents for it, so uh, I'll just have to attack one mob. Nothing I can do about it. In this particular case, Divine Storm is not suitable for. Oh, come on. For just two targets. But, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to at this point. Because I'm quite happy, generally speaking, with the way this is, I'm not going to complain too much that we can't switch between single target and effective AoE, and certainly not two target cleave. to stand behind that shield. I remember that. Do we have to stand on this side at this time? Ah, bollocks, I'm not using Avenging Wrath. Use a bit of Shield of Vengeance. Seem as bad last time. I got myself killed last time I did this on the Demon Hunter. I'm wishing I'd kept that word of glory now. Ooh. So could use bubble but I'm not gonna No one's got a don't think we've got a battle res in this group have they? That's a shame. I'm not as bad with Seal of Light as I was. Oh god. Speaking too soon. Uh, with the last build because now I wonder if you could always like add an extra 30, uh, 45 seconds onto it in the last build. I just didn't notice. That would be embarrassing. I'm not going to use Avenging Wrath. Uh, at this point, because the fight's over now.
He dead. Oh, it gives you plenty of time. All right, fine. Is this some... At some point they'll shatter, won't they? I cannot... I wish I could remember this bloody fight, you know. You know, shatter the spears? What does that mean? I don't know what that... Oh! Ah. What colour am I? What colour am I? It's not that. I can't just fucking tell what colour I... That looks like the colour I should have been. I ain't got me buff now. That's not very fair. Have I been stupid there? Oh, I'll have to use Avenging Wrath. I've not got me damage buff though. anymore. I'm going to look back on the video later and see what colour that should... Maybe... Give me a colour. Look, it's giving me the same bloody colour. I am sure that that's that. But it's not, is it? Fuck's sake. It's... So it was trying to tell me, is that one over there? Well, that's purple. For a start, that is nothing like that colour. I look like a right tit now. But that is not that colour to me anyway, unless I'm colour blind. No point in looking at the logs on this fight then, is there? a yellow. Is that this one this time? Alright. Oh, oh, fantastic. I actually get it at last. I got a bench in Wrath, I was trying to use the Hammer of Wrath. Shift 5 does nothing in Legion. I must have a, a weak spot for the particular colour that I was getting first two times then, I don't know. <sighs> Can I just bubble? I'm just going to bubble, it doesn't reduce my damage. I th That's what I think of your fist in the ground, mate. The other thing I was going to talk about, I mentioned about Divine Hammer, Blade of Wrath. Uh, in actual fact, just doing the numbers, I don't know how stupid I was. Um, Divine Hammer does very, very slightly less damage than Blade of Wrath for the same amount of time. I'm not talking about for a full cycle of Divine Hammer. For the 4.81 seconds there, Divine Hammer on a single target will do very, very slightly lower damage than this. 
but of course um, against even two mobs it will do significantly more damage so divine hammer certainly you would use on uh, two targets or more so it's very good cleave talent uh, zeal obviously is a good cleave talent um, on a two target cleave you wouldn't use consecrate you are still going to use execution sentence I would say would you I mean, it's one of those things, if they stay still, so they definitely wouldn't move out the Consecrate, technically, the Consecrate would do more damage on two targets. But if there's any chance of them moving out of it, and again, on if any fight where stuff could move around, you are probably better off taking Execution Sentence. Um, even though, as I say, in purely theoretical numbers, Consecration would win out there. I suppose you'd just take it on there. If you think about Twin Ogrons in High Mall, uh, I would be taking Execution Sentence because those two are not going to stay in that Consecrate for anything like the full fight. Um, in terms of other talents, nothing particular. I mean, obviously, Mass Judgment, definitely for AoE. The thing is, like... Would you, on two target cleave, would you still use Mass Judgment? Not necessarily. Because you wouldn't use Divine Storm on just as few as two targets. Which means, and because this is, you know, putting the debuff on other targets is only going to buff the uh, the other target for Holy Power finishers. You're still going to be using Templar's Verdict on two targets. So I suppose Mass Judgment is one... Uh, you, you wouldn't get major gains from it other than the convenience of the extra duration of the Judgment debuff. You wouldn't get major gains until the point you were using Divine Storm. And if we just look at the number there, about 29,000, just under 29,000 as opposed to Templar's Verdict. So you need three targets um, before you start using Divine Storm which means probably three targets before you start using Mass Judgment. So there we go, uh, that's some gameplay. It feels okay, I have to say, now that we've got haste at more manageable levels, it feels a lot better. Um, I'm a lot happier with how it plays. Now, in terms of actual numbers, still a long way to go. If you look at the logs down there, I mean, bear in mind some fights, obviously I didn't do uh, as good a job as I should have done last fight, Cocked up the Valkyrie, the first two Valkyrie, and one of those with, with heroism up. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but if you look at some other fights as well, you can see we're way down on damage. You can see that enhancement shame is way up. But that's a tuning thing. It may be born of the fact that we had really high haste, and that was what was giving us really good damage in the previous build. Now that the haste has been brought down to something sensible, maybe Blizzard will retune that. So maybe wait for the next build to see what they do with numbers. Uh, to readjust that, to rebalance that. In terms of the Greater Blessing of Might, if you have a look, it's still not doing that much damage. I mean, even when I'm using the talent for, for uh, that should double the damage for it, it's still not doing a great deal. Now, it could also be that there are a few abilities that are bugged. Um, I didn't think we should be doing that little damage just because, of, I mean, the haste was a big effect. I didn't think it was as big effect as it seems to have been when I compare my damage with, say, last week. But we'll see. Um, but at the moment, all I can comment on is how it feels to play, and how it feels to play is sort of okay. Yes, I don't like Greater Blessings, but it's howling at the moon to be complaining about that now. Yes, I don't like the attack speed on Seal of Light. I mentioned this several builds ago when it was on Seal of Light, and then they changed it to Haste, and that was good. I would rather they took Haste off Zeal. I don't think we need it on Zeal. Um, I would rather they took it off Zeal and put it on uh, Seal of Light, quite frankly. Um, even though that would make it the obvious choice. But quite frankly, with the way that tier is at the moment with Seal of Light, it is the obvious choice of PvE anyway. Uh, it straight up is the, uh, the, the sensible choice. So you might as well put haste on that, take it off Zeal, job done. But anyway, those are my thoughts at the moment. Um, make sure you comment, see what your thoughts are. And 
comment on forums as well. Ultimately, especially if you can post on the US forums, that's the only place where feedback is actually read by the devs, other than maybe tweeting them directly, maybe they uh, read that. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't like, don't forget to comment anyway, and or dislike, if that's your choice. And until next time, I'll see you later.